What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz. Jazz. The Piano Tutorial Man. Back again with another one, two, three. Classic. Yes, indeedy. And you already know who to feed. The nerdy. So, yeah, like I said, man, we definitely got a classic here, man. Uh, originally recorded by Midnight Star, we have the song Slow Jam. Now, before, I already know how some of y'all like to co go into the comments section and think I don't know things. I know that Midnight Star is the original singers of the song. I know Bo Watson is one of the people that wrote the song and all that good stuff. But this version is based off of Usher. And Monica's version, which is actually in a different key. Uh, I forgot to figure out what key the, the Midnight Star did it in. But Usher and Monica, their version is in the key of B major. So that's the reason why I have their name down. So relax. I know the history of the song. Okay, so um, uh, the reason why I had to do this song is because I actually had to learn this. You'll find out probably soon within the next week or so why I had to learn this song. But I said I figured it was... I'm sitting down here. I had to learn how to play the song. So why not cut the camera on and just say, hey, piano tutorial. So that's why you get to see this tutorial. All right. So <laughs> so basically the intro to the song is almost exactly uh, the same chords you do for the verse and chorus. Uh, almost, almost. So let's just start with the intro. You want to start with a B major nine. B on the left hand, A sharp, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp on the right hand. Then you want to go to G sharp minor 11. So that's G sharp on the left hand, G sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp on the right hand. Then you'll move to C sharp minor 9. C sharp on the left, E, G sharp, B, D sharp on the right hand. Then you want to do an E over F sharp, okay? E major over F sharp. So you got your F sharp on the left, E, G sharp, B on the right hand. Then you want to go to a F sharp dominant nine, which is F sharp on the left hand, E, G sharp. A sharp and C sharp and then your right hand will move to a E major 7 but your left hand will stay on the F sharp so this is E major 7 over F sharp okay so your right hand will be on E G sharp B and D sharp okay and then you basically will play those chords again you'll do the B major 9 again same chords I spelled out already. G sharp minor 11. Then you have C sharp minor 9 again. These are the same chords. And this time, the second time around, you're just going to go straight to the E major 7 over F sharp. Okay? You don't have to do the E over F sharp and do the. You don't have to do all that. This time, you just go straight to the E major 7 over f sharp okay so let's stop right there and let's revisit what i just did so far so this is the intro you'll just play it like this the first time you're going to do some extra chords then you're going to play the chords again the same chords b major nine to the G sharp minor 11, to the C sharp minor 9, and now just go straight to the E major 7 over F sharp. Okay, so that's how you play the intro. Okay, um, then once you go to the verse, it's basically it's basically the same chords again. I was all alone.
Now you just do to the E to the F sharp. You don't have to do any extra chords. Just go straight to the E major over F sharp. Just so I can make sure there's no confusion, I'll call out each chord one by one. So once you start the verse, go ahead on and go to your B major 9 again, which again is still B on the left hand, A sharp, C sharp, D sharp, and F sharp on the right hand. Then you're going to go again to the G sharp minor 11. Again, that's G sharp on the left. G sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp on the right hand. C sharp minor 9. Same thing again. Same chords you did before or notes. C sharp on the left. E, G sharp, B, D sharp on the right hand. Then you're going to do E major over F sharp. So you got your F sharp, and then E, G sharp, B on the right hand. Then you're going to play those chords again. B major 9, play it again. G sharp minor 9. C sharp minor 9. And then the second time, you'll just go to the E major 7 over F sharp. Okay, so that's F sharp on the left. E G sharp, B, and D sharp right there on the right hand. So your verse. have that pre-chorus where you go this is where the chords do change all right so let me stop <laughs> now this is where you want to throw in some different chords some of the same chords but some different ones so when uh usher says i asked her for her hand uh, you want to go to a sh straight up g sharp minor so G sharp on the left hand, G sharp, B, D sharp uh, on the right hand, to, you wanna do a D sharp seven with a flat nine, D sharp on the left, G, A sharp, C sharp, E with the right hand. Then you wanna do G sharp minor seven, G sharp with the left hand, F sharp, G sharp, B, D sharp with the right hand. Then you're gonna do C sharp nine, C sharp with the left, F, G sharp, B, D, D sharp on the right hand. Then you do want to go to a straight up E major seven. You're not going to put it over F sharp. It's just going to be a straight up E major 7. So you got your E on the left. E, G sharp, B, D sharp on the right hand. Then you want to go to a B at 9 over D sharp. So that would be double D sharp on the left hand. Then on the right, you have B, C sharp, D sharp, in F sharp, that's your right hand. And then you're gonna do, you're gonna do E major over F sharp. I know I'm doing a different inversion of E major this time, but you can, to keep it from less confusing, I'll play it the same way I played it earlier. So you got F sharp on the left hand, E, G sharp, B. For those of you that know your, you know how to invert chords, feel free to you know use different inversions, but I'm going to try to keep it as simple by trying to use the same um, voicing as much as I can. Okay, and then after this, after your E over F sharp, you want to do the F sharp 9. Again, so F sharp on the left hand. E, G sharp, A sharp, C sharp with the right hand. And then your right hand is going to go to that E major 7. And your left hand will stay on F sharp. So that's 
E major seven over F sharp. So that right hand is E, G sharp, B, and D sharp. Okay, so diax the four. And then guess what? You're going to play the exact same chords that you played for the verse as the chorus. The chords are exactly the same. Nothing's different. So play the verse again because it's also the chorus. You know, you'll go back to the verse and Monica sings the second verse. They do the chorus again. And then after the chorus is done, they go to the bridge of the song. So when you get to the bridge of the song, you want to go. and all that stuff okay so those chords when you get to the bridge you want to do c sharp minor seven c sharp on the left hand g sharp b c sharp e with the right hand so you have a b at nine over d sharp d sharp on the left b c sharp d sharp f sharp on the right hand You really only need an E major seven, but I love playing E major nine right here. So I'm gonna, you know, show you that. I should make it E major 13. I'm gonna make it, nah, I'll keep it at nine. E on the left hand, <laughs> G sharp, B, D sharp, and F on the right hand. All right. Then your next chord will be B add nine over D sharp again. So you will return to that chord. D sharp on the left hand, B, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp on the right hand, and then you will go to uh, D sharp minor seven, D sharp on the left, A sharp, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp on the right hand. Then you can um, jump down to G sharp minor seven. So that's G sharp on the left, F sharp, G sharp, B, D sharp on the right hand. Then you're basically going to play almost the same chords again. You'll go back to your C sharp minor seven, play it the same way I just spelled it to you a couple minutes ago. Then you're going to do the B add nine over D sharp, same way. Just play it the same way. Then you're going to play that E major seven again. Straight up E major 7. Right? Now this is where it gets different. Now this time, after your next chord after this is going to be on the chord sheet is written as F minor 7 flat 5. This is also known as the F half diminished 7. Alright, so F on the left hand. F, uh, G sharp, B, and D sharp. Okay? Then you want to do... E major over F sharp again. F sharp on the left hand. E, G sharp, B on the right hand. Then you have F sharp 9, dominant 9 of course. Uh, F sharp on the left. E, G sharp, A sharp, C sharp on the right hand. And then your right hand will go to that E major 7 while your left hand is still on F sharp. So, what is it again? Yeah, E major 7 over F sharp. All right, so that right hand is E, G sharp, B, and uh, D sharp. All right, so that's it. Then after that, you play the chorus again. Uh, so the bridge is...
right? And then you go back to the chorus again. Now, when you're playing the chorus at the end of the song, um, you, you're you playing it more so, you're actually going to play it like you did the intro of the song. So it's going to be slightly different. It's going to, it's going to be the exact way we played the intro, okay? So you'll play the... I'm not going to spell it because it's, it's, I've, I've spelled out these chords throughout the whole song. I'll just show you the chords. So play your B major 9 again. Right? Play another soldier. Then you'll do your G sharp minor 11 again. Okay? Then you'll do your C sharp minor 9 again. Okay? Then you'll go to your E major over F sharp. Okay. Then you'll do the F sharp nine, dominant nine again. And then you'll take your right hand and make that an E major seven while keeping the F sharp on your left hand. So E major seven over F sharp. And ladies and gentlemen, you're just going to keep playing that until the song is over. On the recording, the song just fades out. So it will just be. you through the song so hopefully you'll have fun with that classic and um like i said and in, in within the next week hopefully you'll find out why i had to sit down here and learn the song so just keep tuning in on the channel some of you probably already figured it out okay he i know what he what he doing all right so <laughs> anyway like i said um hope you have fun with that one and i will definitely catch you on the next one peace